Hi everyone, welcome back to another Canva tutorial with me, Sandy, the owner and the creative behind Sandy Solutions. So this is going to be something new for all of us because this is something I'm planning to do on a regular basis. So it's going to be a weekly segment. Yeah, I'm hoping I can do this on a weekly basis. So it's going to talk about Canva features and updates. And so I can give you guys a deep dive of how it works, what it's for, and how it can be helpful for you and for your business. All right, so to start with, and for our very first episode, we're going to talk about page linking. So this is very helpful if you are into PDF, workbooks, planners, presentations, website, because it will allow you to link any page to a certain element or text in your design. So let's just say, for example, you have this workbook or an ebook and you have a table of contents right there. You can just link the page into that certain page number on your table of contents. Instead of scrolling your way down through the whole document, imagine if you have like 100 pages. So you'll just click the page number on your table of contents and it will bring you up that certain page number. And it will save your reader some time. And you know, just the transition will be really easy. And this is something that I usually do using Adobe Acrobat. So now I have to let it go because I can finally do it in Canva. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a quick look on how you can do it in Canva. All right. All right, so this is my Canva and this is a sample PDF that I'm actually selling on my template shop. So as you can see, this one has like nine pages and I've already created a table of contents. So this one, so let's just say topic title here and it's on page one. And this is going to be my page one, the welcome page, page two, you see here, page three, page four, and so on. Now, what, what we wanted to do is to make this numbers right here on your table of contents clickable. So what we'll do is actually do the page link feature, use the page link feature of Canva. So we'll just click on here and then find that link button. And then now you can link page three here of your Canva document as your page one. So that's going to be page one. Okay, so as you see, it automatically goes down to that page that really just link. Now let me go back here and link this to page two. Okay, then go back. Okay, so that's page three. Now, as if you notice, the, the page numbers the page numbers here are being underlined so you can just remove that by pressing control u or command u to remove the underline so let me just check if it was successfully there you go control u okay not sure why it's not showing let me just double check make sure that it's not being underlined or anything okay so that's let me just okay very good so now once we're done let's just say i'm done linking the rest of the pages to my table of contents all you have to do is just to download it i'm going to download it as a pdf standard download it and save it and i'm going to show you how it works on your um, audience or readers end Okay, so let's just go to desktop. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have now our file. I'm going to open that. And let's just say 70% so we can properly see everything. Okay, so now I'm going to click one here. You see, that's now clickable. And it takes you right away to page one. Now, two, it takes you to the second page. It says here, page two. 
And then lastly, page three, oops, I think I was not able to successfully link that when I do it here. But now you have the idea of how it works and how it will look like in Canva. All right, so you guys, I hope you find this video helpful. And again, this Canva is still gradually rolling this out to public in the coming weeks. So please note that not everyone, or this is not yet available to everyone yet, and not everyone may get it immediately. So let's just wait and be patient. I will create a separate announcement once that feature will be successfully rolled out to everyone. All right. Well, let me know if you have other questions. Drop them down in the comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now.